Meanwhile, a thousand gun violence restraining orders filed over the last five years here in the city of San Diego. That has led authorities to seize firearms from people who pose a credible threat. Now, these restraining orders, which are approved by judges, require people to turn over their guns and their ammunition for a specific period of time. Our Sarah Allegre joins us with more on the city's efforts to keep weapons out of dangerous hands. Sarah. Maria, the 1,000 gun violence restraining orders that the city has reached has spanned throughout a four-year period, uh, stemming back to 2018. Now, according to the city attorney, 50 of these restraining, restraining orders uh, may have prevented mass casualties, preventing threats in our schools, workplaces, and public areas right here in San Diego. Staggering statistics released by the San Diego City Attorney's Office could shed light to the realities of gun violence in the city. We are again reeling from another week of gun violence, so naturally gun laws are again front and center. According to the City Attorney's Office, while working with the San Diego Police Department, they've reached, quote, 1,011 gun violence restraining orders. 437 of those orders have become permanent, meaning someone is either a threat to themselves or others and could be issued a suspension from gun access from one to five years, which is analyzed based on the severity of the threat. We're absolutely against anybody abusing uh, the use of a firearm, but what's happening here is you're giving somebody the ability to take firearms against firearms away from somebody who really has done almost nothing. Michael Schwartz with the San Diego County Gun Owners Pack argues the recent trend is a product of what he calls accusations against law-abiding gun holders. What we're seeing is that they're, like I said, they're using these vindictively against people rather than preventatively. This, as a series of gun-related hearings are underway this week in San Diego Federal Court, followed by a Supreme Court ruling that sets a new standard for judges, one pointing back to the Second Amendment. So there's a little bit of law, there's a lot of history, and there's a reevaluation of a wide variety of gun regulations and restrictions under this new ruling. They're basically saying, look, you have to go back to the original intent. You know, what was the Second Amendment intended to do? Who is it intended to protect? Now, according to the city attorney's office, the number of uh, gun violence restraining orders may only grow with about 85 currently pending. For now, live along the Embarcadero, Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News.